Well, hello YouTube. This is Aztec bringing another mod installation. Um, this one isn't Mo Creatures. It's another mod you've probably heard of. It's called SDK, and he has to fight guns and whatnot. Um, I had trouble trying to install this, but I don't know. I just it managed to work it out last night, and I, you know, can't, couldn't wait to give you this video because it's probably my favourite mod. Um, it's a bit harder to install than Mo Creatures, but. If you follow this and Mo Creatures work for you, it should work fine. And it does work with Mo Creatures, although there are a few bugs, um, which I'm not going to explain in this video, but I might do later on. So um, this is going to be a longer video, so make sure you watch it all. Um, yeah, to start off, you just go to your Finder, Library, Application Support, Minecraft, and then you bin. And in here, you've got all those jars. You just open it with Archive Utility, or if you can't do that. Just compress it, double click the zip, and give you a hand it up, fold it there, which has got all the stuff in. So basically, then you just delete the jar and you delete the zip. Or if you or if you use archive to utility, you don't get a zip, but yeah, you just rename it to Minecraft.jar and add it, and then there's all the files here. Um, yeah, let's get cracking on. Um, I've put a, I'll put a mod back on Mediafire, um, link in description, just download it as normal. Then you go to base mods. Mod loader, mod loader V5, and yes, V5 does work with Mo Creatures, so you don't have to worry about that. And then you just copy them and paste them into the jar. Into the jar. Apply to all the blades. Then put audio mod in. Um, paste that in. Um, copy the Ibex in and paste the Ibex in. Um, I don't think you need um, audio mod, but I just put it in, you know, just in case. So you go pause code, sound, codex, codex RBXM. Then you go up here and type in Paul, Minecraft jar. So yeah, go in the actual jar. Just go to pause code, sound, codex. And then you paste the codex RBXM you've just copied. Go back into the jar. Um, and just to make sure this works. So just like, just load it up once I've installed mod loader. So I'll make sure mod loader and everything's working. From the Minecraft. There we go, log in. And yeah, it works fine. There we go. Um, now to install the SDK mod itself. So you go back into the um, jar. Um, back into the mod pack, then there's SDK there. You'd have to worry about too many items to install that later. But go into SDK. Um, then you'll see all these property files. You don't need the property files, so just leave them. But you go into the Minecraft folder. Um, make it a bit bigger, like that, then scroll up. Then you'll see three folders, armor, net, and SDK. You start off, you go into the armor. I'll let those um, night vision, parachute, and scuba. Then you go once in the Minecraft like, jar, you go down to armor there. Then you paste them into the armor folder. Then you go back into the jar. Then you go to net in the SDK folder. Minecraft, client, copy that. Then you have to scroll down until you find net in the jar. Um, it, it might seem complicated now, but when you're actually doing it yourself, it's quite easy. And all the folders are exactly the same, so it won't be any different. So then once you're in your jar, you go to net, Minecraft, client, copy and replace, the Minecraft.class. Uh, you just copied from SDK. Go back, um, back again, back again. Then there'll be an SDK folder here. You just copy that and paste that right into the jar, like so. Um, then you just copy all these classes as normal. You just cop press Command C to copy them, Command V to paste them, apply to all. You know, just like install a normal mod. Just make sure you don't put any of the folders in, just all the classes. Just keep copying them in and pasting them. I know it might take longer doing this, but yeah, just yes. And then, then once you see all the um, classes here, scroll down. Yes, there are a lot of them. There's about seventy classes here. We yeah, just copy all them and paste them right into the jar, like that. Then you'll get all them. And then one thing you need to do: type in meter there, master jar. Then there'll be a meter inf there. You just delete that. Then yeah. Then you go out of the jar, go out of the bin. Then you go to resources. Um, then you go out that folder there. 
then in the SDK mods will be a resources folder, SDK. Just copy the SDK folder and paste the SDK folder inside your resources, inside your Minecraft folder, like that. So basically, in the bin, you've got all your class files in there. Then in your resources, you've got the SDK folder, with this, which is the sound. Um, and then I'm just going to install um, too many items, just quickly. There's a video, it's in my mod pack, which I'll put a link to, so yeah. Then, let's go on this. You did, this isn't part of um, SDK, finished SDK, but I'm just putting the too many, too many items so you can spawn the guns in the inventory. There we go, should be done. Load. <coughs> Log in. And there we go. Then make it full screen. Single player. Uh, I've already got a world here. Um, and this is a very, very good mod. Like if you're a COD addict like me, then you'll love this mod. And basically, press I to bring up your too many items here. Then, as you'll see there, there's all the guns. For example, like AK, you just click to put it there. Light bullet. AK takes light bullets. Get. <laughs> After we load, <laughs> pretty sick. Um, there's like a pig there, you can shoot a pig. Uh, where is he? <laughs> Hands up to SDK for making sound effects here, yeah, pretty good. Um, MP5K uses this, it's you know, like a AK, but it uses like quite a bullet, something like that. You know, it's lagging out a bit. I'm gonna have to change my render distance. I always I always forget to do this. No, it's not that. Um, Sounds a bit cool as this. Um, what's another one? Shotgun. Obviously, use shotgun shells. Um, yeah. Um, you can actually make these guns in game. Like, I think a shotgun's like leather and metal, but I'm not gonna show you how to make them. You know, because it just it'll just save time just putting them in inventory. But if you go on the SDK um, website, which I put in the description. Um, you'd just be the rest of the Um, so another one, Deagle, that's quite nice. Does it have any bullets in? Um, put Deagle, so up there. Yeah, and there you go, they're all light bullets, they're all light bullets. But you need to get the medium bullets, and then the Deagle shoots the medium bullets. Um, then you've got your grenades. Show your grenade. Um, then you've got your rockets here, I'll show you a quick rocket launch here. One sec. Hit your rocket launcher, stay there piggy, and then blow you up. <laughs> and that missed completely. Yeah, there we go. Um, laser guided rocket, that's quite cool. You need laser guided rockets to use this by the way. So swap it. And then if you look here, if I shoot it there, then I move my curse to that cliff there. It'll get him. Um, if I want to get that tree there, just move my cursor onto the tree. Bang. If I want to get the cow, put my cursor on cow. Boom, got him. Turn again, again. Boom, direct hit. <laughs> um, there's light meters, rope. I, sh I don't know. I've never used a grappling hook. I don't know how it works, but I'll give it a go. Um, yeah, if you get any problems with black screens, just tell me. Um, if Moku just works for you, this should work. It's like the stick now. Where's it on? See if I can throw it all the way there. What's that doing? Is it doing anything? Um, yeah, I can't even get the grappling up to work, but. Yeah, that's quite good. Um, if you can, if you know how to use it, then yeah. But I obviously don't. Um, sniper rifle. Um, this is one thing you, that people. This one thing I didn't know how to do is that you need to put heavy bullets in, and when you get the sniper, you press Z to zoom in like that. See a chicken there. Destroyed it. Um, yeah, it's quite good. This is there's binoculars and everything. Just just look for them where you find them at good. Um, I think yeah, 
If any of you hear this from spawners, it's like nuke. Nuke is it's five times the explosive radius of TNT, I believe. So let's put it there, get it and run, because that's probably get me. Will it get me? Oh, it's a safe distance, and then that's a lot more powerful than TNT. TNT would not do that. Do another one. Did it me damn um and two of them have been created that big so this is perfect for mining and whatnot um sentry gun i've never used this before so don't forget wrong don't tell me off um yeah and basically i think that shoots hostile mobs so basically um i'm gonna do an sdk montage or whatever where i put like loads of these and spawn loads of creepers and see what happens um yeah and that's pretty much it um i hope the mod works for you you can use this in multiplayer, just get someone to set up a server. Any black screens, tell me, and I hope you have fun with these guns, because I sure did. See you soon.